Oh, it's fantastic. I haven't seen some of this at an exhibition some time ago. To come see it in the flesh in, in, at its home base is a really great opportunity and such amazing technology being developed. The team at the Department for Business have, have been focused on moving a lot more of our research and development support and financial support away from London, out into the wider parts of the UK. And there's something here in Northern Ireland and particularly around Belfast with the work that's going on with companies like Artemis that we can really see the benefits of. So our 10x vision is for a decade of innovation here in Northern Ireland. And Artemis fits in so well to that. We always need to look at new ways of doing things. We don't just do things the way we've always done them in the past. And one of the things that we are very clear on is the need to move away from foreign sources of fossil fuels towards renewable technologies. And this is a fantastic example of how transport can be completely revolutionized, how we're moving entirely to electric in a way that saves money, uh, but also helps meet our net zero targets. When I visited COP26, maritime was really a big issue, and it's good to see that we are having this maritime response. What is being proposed here by Artemis and the, the, the work that they have done will be something that is used right across the world, designed, developed and built here in Belfast. It's rare to be involved in a project here in Belfast that is going to make history an impact the way we look at shipping worldwide. And we know that 16 of the ships that are sailing at the moment are giving off the same level of emissions as all the cars being driven. But what this project can show you is that actually if you have the will and the knowledge and you're able to innovate and exploit that technology, we have a solution for clarity. The project looks like it's really in that phase where it's going to take off. Uh, it's great to see the boats in the water and from an operator point of view, we think we've actually got a solution that is operable in, in the future and the maritime sector is dying for that zero emission technology that can still service the clients properly. So, really excited.